Hi, uh, in this video I would like to show you how you can generate documents, uh, Word or PDF documents based on Google Sheet rows. So for example, we have a sample spreadsheet here. So what I want to do is that whenever I will add a record here, new row, uh, like this, I will receive document PDF document on my email with this data filled into my custom template. Uh, so the result will be something like this. We have a PDF file with some fields filled in. Uh, so to achieve that, uh, you need two applications. One is Zapier to automate the process. Uh, and second is Documentero. This is the application to generate uh, documents based on custom templates. So let's give it a try. So first of all, I need to set up the Zap uh, in Zapier, which is a uh, configuration for, you know, automating this. So let me define the trigger, which is Google Sheets. I will pick an event uh new spreadsheet row which is triggered when a new row is added to the bottom of the spreadsheet as you can see my account is already connected so i can just skip this step uh, then i will pick my spreadsheet its member list and the worksheet will be the first first one And let's test this trigger. As you can see, uh, Zapier detected uh, my spreadsheet. It's extracted sample row from my spreadsheet and show it here. So I have four columns with different data. Let's continue. So next one, we need to define the action in Zapier. Action will use our documentario integration so let's find it out here then let's select the event we have two events to select one is generate document if we want to generate the document and do something with it for example we can upload it to google drive and second option is generate document and send it a similar attachment this is a bit easier so i will pick the second option for now And now we have to connect Zapier with Documentero app. So to do that, obviously, I need a Documentero account. Uh, you can register it really quickly and easy. And let's click here. And Zapier will ask me for API key from the Documentero app. Uh, as you can see, API key you can find in your account in Documentero. And here, you can just copy it from here. This is your personal key for your account. And you can just copy it to this model with the question. Click yes, continue. And after a while, Zapier and Documentary account should be connected together. As you can see, it all went well. So we can move on with the next step. Okay, cool. So we have now we have to configure the generate document action. So first question is in what output format you would like to get the document. One is the Word format, which is docx, and second is PDF. Let's select a PDF for now. Uh, we need to decide on what email you would like to get the document. I will provide my email here. Next one is email subject, uh, new document based on role. Uh, I can even add something from the some column name. And we have an email message with this we can skip. This is not important right now. And the most important uh, configuration field is document template. So. First of all, we need to define the document template in the Documentero platform. So 
to do that I need to open this link as you can see I don't have any templates yet in the Comentero app but I can upload one in the docx format or I can create template online which is a little bit easier so we will go with this option okay as you can see this is sample template I don't think we need that that much stuff here just to show it off so I will delete the later part uh, and yeah we can rename the title to invitation uh, as you can see we have four dynamic fields they are wrapped in the curly brackets uh, and those in those fields we would like to inject the data from the spreadsheet so here we have a template and find obviously I can I can refine this later but for now let's save it as is uh, so yeah right now I'm saving my document template okay cool after a while i can see that the command template is added to the platform and four fields are detected which is uh, expected and i can go back to zapier and click refresh fields and my template should appear here which is happening so this is super cool so now if i select the document template uh, all fields detected in the template will appear here in Zapier. So I can connect the um, data from Trigger uh, to the proper fields in the document template. This is really straightforward here um, because our column names matches the uh, fields in the document template. So for uh, name field, I will select the name field from the spreadsheet from for country, I will do the same. And for city, H, it will be the same pattern. So I just mapped all four columns from my spreadsheet, as you can see, uh, into the fields uh, in my document template. Okay, cool. So let's check this out. As you can see, Zapier is suggesting that I can test this action. So yeah, let's do it and let's see if we will receive a new email uh, on my inbox with the document. Okay, I, I see it's just done. So after a second, yes, here it is. A uh, new document arrived on my inbox. As you can see, it's in PDF format and it consists uh, the data from the spreadsheet. So uh, to finish it up, we need to publish this up. And after a while, okay, this is cool. After a while, uh, we can see that the integration is ready. So whenever I add the new row here, new document will appear in my inbox with the generated document with the fields pre-filled from the spreadsheet. Uh, there is one more thing that you can do as well here. Uh, you can also perform this operation on the existing data. So to do that in Zapier, you can do it quite easily here, transfer existing data. So for example, I can select like two or three uh, rows from my spreadsheet. I can hit next. It will ask me to confirm if I want to perform operation on three records from my spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, I'm agreeing. And as you can see, Zapier within one minute should perform these operations. Uh, and as an outcome, outcome I would expect three emails with three documents per every row configured uh, so here 
in my inbox yeah after a few seconds as you can see i received three new documents for different uh, members as you can see this is first one second one is completely different yeah so that's how you can automate document generation from spreadsheet using uh, documentero and zapier feel free to fire up the questions in the comment section i'm here to help uh, have a good day and automate everything